Pictures with your hosts, Picasso and Tahiti. The Obama, the White House, Congress, who's ever listened to this, please help the sick, the elderly, the poor. They dying in these hospitals out here. And the reason why I say this is I lived out here in Dallas, Texas. It's a hospital called Parkland Memorial Hospital. I know it's supposed to be like the county hospital and all that. But I just sat there and watched how they just treat homeless people, how they treat poor people, how they treat elderly people. It was a, uh, an Hispanic lady. She's bleeding out of her ear and they just put them on these long waiting lists in these waiting rooms or whatever. And I, you know, a lot of people don't have insurance. A lot of people don't have the, uh, are not as blessed. There's a lot of people to, uh, to have insurance and, 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 a, and the appropriate finances, so don't just let people just sit like this. I know it's not your fault, Obama, nobody else's fault, but I think sometimes if people just put themselves on the level of the average human, the average American, the average person, they'll see the plight and what people are going through, man. When I'm, I'm sitting in the lobby for a long time, and those people at those hospitals at Parkland, I'm just keeping it real, they don't care. They rude. All they care about is you got insurance, and it's, it's people in that. It's a. I've seen elderly people that are real sick and coughing, and they they, they need all kinds of and, and attention, and they, they they just forgotten souls, and people just they they just a number. Once you go into that system, you got to fill out these forms. They send you through a lot of rigmarole. You go fill out this form. You do that form. You do that form. They check your blood pressure. Then after all that, you know what they ask you? Well, your insurance. And then if you have no insurance, you get an MRI. Or x-ray they done with you and I don't have insurance that's why I found out I could have probably went to a doctor but I went there because I know I had no insurance I said let me, let me go ahead and do it and I'm glad I went you know so it taught me a valuable lesson to try to get insurance it taught me a valuable lesson to use my voice as an artist to try to invoke change or whatever for so Obama if you get this please do your best to give it to, to care about people of all colors people of all races people of all ages because especially the elderly and sick people man just I, I I don't think I can just sit by and watch people just be like the way they were at Parkland Memorial Hospital out here in Dallas, Texas. And, and, a lot of, and, 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 and all you people out there that's working at these hospitals, I know it's your job, but you got to be a little bit more compassionate than what you've been. I know you run into a lot of people off the streets that's rude, but a lot of people are there for a good reason. They want help. They want to get themselves feeling better. So don't just put people on long waiting lists and they're understaffed. You need to, you need to have government, government programs where you can get more doctors. The more nurses, they understand it's like two doctors with all those people. There's no sense of nobody being in, being in line that long. And I'm not here to complain. Of. I'm doing this not even for me, and I don't have insurance. And, I, and I'm a broke individual, but God has blessed me with a voice. And I'm and sometimes people they treat you wrong, but they never know who they treat you wrong. Who's sitting in a, in amongst the others? And, and I, I'm a humble cat, and I've seen it. Like man, this guy here, this oh, this lady, she's like bleeding out of ear. This guy coughing, this talking to himself. These people are sick mentally, physically, and all that. And to me, I just don't think people care. So Obama, do your best to try to help do change or whatever, to bring change. All the people, like I said before in the first video I did like, back in the days, like a couple of months ago, a lot of people misconstrued my words. I'm not prejudiced. I was just saying, let's cut the prejudice out. You know, a lot of people call me out of my name. I'm not going to use no profanity on this one because it's not that kind of thing. But I'm here to try to unite and do my best. And I'm not perfect. I've done a lot of messed up things in life. But I'm a, I'm a good dude, straight up. So, like Obama, let's help the elderly, the sick, the poor, and the forgotten souls in life. Let's get some health insurance to these people. And then that's, the United States is supposed to be the land of opportunity. People shouldn't, should, people shouldn't be just handing the kids and stuff sick and about to die sitting in these waiting rooms across Dallas, to New York, to Philly, to LA, to Atlanta, to whatever in the world. It's people feeling the same plight. So if you feel me, leave a comment, you know what I'm talking about? And I'm all about peace and harmony. Stay strong and have a nice day. Picasso Allen Poe and I'm out. Peace. Watching Wet Pictures with your hosts, Picasso and Tahiti.